Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from MyGS Electronics and today we're going to be checking out Omron Q2 Edit software. It's a software that allows you to program the Q2 V and Q2 A drives. So uh, that's the uh, software we're going to be checking out, how it works, uh, how to set up and uh, pretty much go through it and um, get, you get you a good introduction of it. It's a cool software, something you should have if you are a Omron guy and using the Q2V drives, definitely, definitely uh, download it. It is a free software from Omron website where I'm going to be leaving a link in the description below where you can just, it will take you directly to that page where you can obtain the software and pretty much uh, start playing with it. So the programming cable for Q2V, uh, Q2V NA drives are a uh, standard USB, which is absolutely a big yes, yes to me. So hence we are going to be checking it out. So without further ado, let's get started. <music> Here we are ladies and gentlemen, so the first thing we need to do is click the link below and go to a uh, Omron uh, website, it's pretty much going to open this page up for you, it's going to look like so, so and uh, then just gotta click for the downloads in here. It'll take you all the way down to the uh, bottom, and if you if you want to really be specific, but uh, I downloaded the latest version, which is a uh, 2.0, whatever that number is, a 2.001. And once you download this file, you will receive a, a package like so, and just open up, and uh, as you can see in here, just uh, install it. It's quite straightforward installing it, and you will receive. Uh, set up like this. Let's start it up. It's called Q2 Edit, quite nice and fancy. So the first thing was you open up in here, you're going to want to know uh, what sort of a drive you are using. So what we can do, we can actually go straight for application wizard. So we're going to call the basic application wizard is the one if you are start, uh, want to set up your drive for the first time. So we're going to call it a Q2, uh, V, whatever that is. You can call and then give information and all sorts of things for it. And as you click OK, it tells you to select what drive it is. We are Q2, a V version, and we are a SB002. Right on the side of the drive, you'll be able to read Q2, V, and it will show you that what the selection of the number is there. Test the communications. By the way, I keep forgetting to say, as you can see, it's just a standard USB cable, nothing fancy there, just a normal kind. That is what I like about these new drives that come out that has got a basic uh, drive, uh, I mean, uh, uh, USB connections. And that will make people use these drives a lot more than just having all these interfaces, which completely just puts people off. And uh, you don't really need to do the do regarding uh, communication because it already automatically knows what is going on. And once you've done all this in here, just select what control you're going to be using. We are VF control. So uh, from there on, just connect to the drive. And as we uh, load up, so let's wait for him to do his thing. He's reading all these parameters. And it's going to tell you what, uh, what, what would you like to do. So you can add a trend record, trace record, monitor panels, fault status, uh, data log, drive controls, and motor tuning, things like that. We're going to get to that. Remember, first, if you are for the first time setting up your drive, by the way, the drive does not need to be powered. It can be still sitting in your box while you're setting it up. So uh, we are going to be drive application visit. Let's start with that. And it's going to tell you pretty much basic drive setup. Yes. So once you click start, and in here, we need, it says we need to initialize. So this is where you initialize what you would like to initialize to. Let's say to wire control, let's go. So then close that, he's done that. So it's going to open, it says in here, application was intended for you set up general purpose application, such as conveyors, pumps, blah, blah, blah. It allows you to select control methods, select speed references, start, stop, search, accelerator, accelerator, etc. So this is where we're going to sort of select a basic setup. So it tells you all these points are going to go through. So let's go. So this is where you select how you're going to be controlling it. Front keypad. Uh, how you're going to be controlling the run, uh, run starts. Uh, front keypad. Are you going to be using any external faults? No, we're not. What sort of duty are you going to be? Remember, there's a two two types of duties for these drives. So it's a, a heavy and normal. Remember, it's almost halves the the kilowatts if you go for the heavy duty. So we are a normal duty. Normal duty is for the pumps and, and not for pumps for, for fans and things like that. 
Uh, original, original option selection, we don't have that, so it's none. So uh, what sort of motor? Standard induction motor. What sort of control? VF control. Oh, my camera is doing funny business. So one second, let me go check it out. And well, that's sorted. So we have control. Let's continue. Next step. How are you going to stop it? Uh, Ram to stop. Ah, that will stay normal. Reverse enabled. Yes. Acceleration. Let's change that to one. Change the acceleration to one as well. Do note, you can still change these later on if you wish to. And uh, we're going to transfer the parameters to activate the project and the transfer the parameters to active project and then to the drive. So make sure the pull mode auto tune vector mode control before using the drive in your application. Yeah, why not? Let's go. So yes, close. And there we go. It's going to take us, it's going to load all these parameters now into the drive and in our uh, setup page. Take any time. So this is really good when you step up for the first time when you are doing your uh, startup. So uh, and if your motor is connected, so uh, then you do need to uh, make sure you do your uh, auto tune as well. So uh, you're not going to be able to do auto tune if your motor is uh, well. If you do, if you just preset the preset the parameters, so then we use the first selection in there. So rot no rotary static static uh, auto tune uh, parameter tuning yes and then we go for a then it says blah 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 what it's going to do information instructions then we need to edit what sort of kilo rating we got we've got a uh, 0 0.18 and one amp so I haven't done that so now it's going to tell what you need to do then click run. And this is a very easy, easy way of doing it. Here we go, he's doing his thing now. I can hear the, I'm not sure you can hear, oh, you can see on the screen, as you can see down there. Right in the corner, he's doing his thing. Very straightforward. Setups. Here we go. It should, here we go. Auto tune has been performed, close. Now let's go reading parameters from Q2, from the drive again. Parameter transfer to the object, active right and blah blah blah, and you are done. So here we go, you have a pretty much set up your drive within the software very very quickly we are using just this application visit. Next, let's go through what else we can do in here. Obviously everything we already done is all in here. If you can see every single parameter has been changed, it will be marked as red. So let's so for motor, as you can see, these things have been changed around, and uh, motor L line to line resistance, all this, all this has been changed around. Everything will be marked as red. You can print, you can edit parameters, you can export, and hello device in here, and you can even email to somebody if you wish. So, and then anyway, let's go into this which is a startup and diagnostic. This is where the much fun. This is where you can really. Uh, start uh, monitoring stuff if you wish to and uh, if you can have a drive control in here so say you put a uh, run forwards as you can see the drive is running this is where you you can our our carrier frequency just sounded a bit very interestingly weird which we're gonna check that in a minute. Uh, then obviously, yeah, just have a look at this. Now you can do uh, all sorts of uh, uh, trend recording, and this is where you can do your trace recording. All sorts of uh, monitoring a panel. You can select what you want to monitor on your screen for the testing and things like that. Again, you can have a drive control in here. So where is the? Carrier frequency. What under which group? These are the. This is where you would select all your frequencies. Uh, and it's an application terminals protection. Where would you put a carrier frequency? Oh, for God! Let me go quickly find out where that is, and we'll change that. There we go, found it. So, well, uh, the noise was horrible. So, let's change that one to 
something much more soundable and we can change that one to two so here we go so blah blah this is how you pretty much update it goes straight into the drive change as you can see down here you can see at the default values is there and that's that and let's check it out how that sounds now for oh that's so much better so the noise is pretty much uh, removed so you can see you can play with the drive as much as you want from the uh, keypad. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is, is, I mean, there is so much more you can do in here. So do play around. No, there's two network manager applications. And, and uh, yeah, do uh, check it out. So let's quickly out show you this one. It's an output frequency, current, whatever you want to monitor and uh, then just start so uh, on I think you know, then you power up the drive in here and you click on forward so you can see you can start really seeing what is uh, going on control method we don't really want to monitor that so uh, uh, let's stop that let's put that on output power let's have a look at output power let's start on that one come on oh, I want me here we go there we go, so it sort of gives you an idea of what's going on. You can actually print what's going on as well to send it to someone, I don't know. And uh, things like that. And that, ladies and gentlemen, gives you a sort of an insight how to get started and use this software nowadays for the drives is, is very desirable, at least for me. It is so much easier to get your drive up and running, to monitor, to test and change everything you want there with the click of a button so uh, I cannot knock these good uh, new softwares coming out so with the drives and they are of course free I, I, I actually wouldn't even uh, buy the drive if the software um, you would have to pay for it but yeah ladies and gentlemen I hope you like this video and uh, gives you a good idea what you can do with this and remember you do not need to have drive to be a powered Powered, you can still do it out of the box, but you can't do the auto tune obviously because motor is not controlled. But you can do that once that uh, once you have uh, connected to the motor and do it manually, uh, or connect the laptop again and do the vision there. But either way, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, and uh, if you like the video, do, don't forget to smash that like and do subscribe because there's a ton of all of this content coming out. So, uh, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.